Hi, I'm David Hudson, a Grinnell senior from New York City. I'm also an admissions intern, and I'd like to share some knowledge about the college admission process. When I was in your shoes, I didn't really know a lot about college type. What is the difference between a liberal arts college and a research university? And what does that mean? Here to tell you what you need to know is Sarah Fisher. Thanks, David. Did you know that there's over 4,000 different colleges and universities in the U.S.? They vary dramatically in terms of size, location, and academic offerings. Two common types are research universities and liberal arts colleges. Research universities tend to be much larger in size, some with as many as 40,000 students. They offer a wide range of degree programs like bachelor's, master's, PhD programs, and they tend to have both undergraduate and graduate students. Liberal arts colleges like Grinnell tend to be much smaller in size, ranging from about 1,500 to 5,000 students. They tend to have much more flexible curriculum with students able to take classes across a wide range of different academic areas. For example, at Grinnell, you don't declare your major until the end of your second year, and you have a lot of time to fully explore the curriculum regardless of what your major ends up being. Don't be fooled by the words liberal and arts. They have no formal political affiliation and they do offer academic majors in STEM areas, the humanities and the social studies. Regardless of whatever type of college or university you find is the right fit for you, I wish you the best with your college search process. Thank you, Sarah. That was very informative. Be sure to check out other videos in this series to learn more about the college application process from our enrollment professionals. Thank you.